video, we will take a look at solving quadratic equations using the Casio FX115 ES. Okay, first of all, you want to make sure that your quadratic equation is in standard form, and that's written here ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And the reason you want it to be in standard form is because we are going to enter a, b, and c into the calculator, and so the equation needs to be in the correct form first. All right, so let's take a look at problem number one. Solve 8x squared plus 189x minus 72 equals zero. Uh, as we can see, the equation is in this form. So I have identified a, b, and c. A is the coefficient or the number in front of x squared. B is the coefficient of x, including the sign, so positive 189. And C is the constant term, including the sign, so negative um, 72. Keep in mind that the buttons I'll select over here on the Casio are listed here on the paper. All right, so the first thing we want to do after making sure the calculator is on, of course, is select mode 5. So let's hit our mode key and we want the equation option so that's number five and as you can see you have different equations of different forms listed here we want the one that looks like a quadratic so that would be number three alright so now you are being asked for a b and c so we said that our a is an eight so we're going to enter in an 8 in the first position and then hit equals. It moves to the B position. Our B is 189, so we will enter 189, hit equals again. And now it's asking for C, so we're going to enter in negative 72. So here's our negative key here, so negative 72 equals and now let's hit the equal sign one more time and our Casio tells us that 1x value is 3 eighths hit the equal sign again and we get that the second solution is negative 24 so we see in this case we got two rational solutions. Now let's take a look at problem number two, which reads x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals zero. So we're going to follow the same process. So we're already in mode five, so we can just hit the uh, AC button and that takes us back to the ABC screen so we can go right into entering um, A, B, and C. So as we can see here the coefficient of x squared is a 1, the coefficient of x is an 8, and our constant is negative 10. So once again we're going to enter in 1 equals 8 equals and then negative 10 equals and then we'll hit equals again and we see this time we get decimals as our solutions so we'll write our first x is 1.099 hit equals again the other solution is negative 9.099 so if the decimal answer is acceptable great if not you're going to have to take another route. So if you want the exact answer, what we'll do is we'll use the quadratic formula. So in order to use the quadratic formula, we need to switch to mode two. So let's try that. Let's go mode two. And we are now in complex mode. And the reason we need to be in complex mode is because, as you know, sometimes um, quadratic equations produce 
complex solutions or imaginary solutions so we want the calculator to be able to take care of that if that's the case okay so let's see how would we enter in this expression in the Casio well let's start by hitting our fraction key because as you can see this is a fraction and I've simply entered in A, B, and C in their appropriate positions and now I'm going to enter this in exactly the way it looks okay so I'm going to hit my negative key then left parentheses 8 close parentheses we do not have a plus or minus key on the Casio so we're just going to enter in the positive or the plus um, symbol so plus and then hit your square root sign left parentheses 8 close parentheses let's hit our x squared key located here and then minus 1 oops nope let's back up minus 4 times 1 times negative 10 alright let's move from under the radical so we'll move to the right now let's drop down in the denominator by hitting our down arrow and then we'll enter 2 times 1 or 2 and hit our equal sign and we see the Casio gives us negative 4 plus the square root of 26 so since we don't have a plus or minus symbol on the Casio we'll just understand and put that symbol back in place so as you can see here we have negative 4 plus the square root of 6 so our solutions turned out to be um, irrational but one thing I would like to make note of if we were to turn this into a decimal so let's hit the decimal key right here we see that it is 1.099 so that turns out to be one of our decimal solutions that we got earlier so if we were to then go enter in negative 4 minus the square root of 26 we would get this decimal answer okay so let's clear that out let's take a look at this third problem um, so I deliberately picked this one because what's going to happen here is this quadratic equation will produce imaginary solutions so let's see what happens when we enter that into the Casio there we go hopefully we can see that okay we've got to switch modes because we want to see what happens when we enter in ABC so let's go to mode 5 mode 5 and let's select option 3 okay our A is 3 so 3 equals our B is negative 5 so negative 5 equals and our C is 4 4 equals and then let's hit equals again okay and look what happens we get 5 6 plus and then this irrational coefficient of I but the Casio does tell us that this is uh, an imaginary solution so what you'll need to do then is get out of this mode and just use the quadratic formula like we did earlier okay because it's not very likely that your instructor is going to accept this answer but at least the Casio is letting you know that this particular quadratic equation has um, imaginary solutions All right so let's see let's clear out and let's go to mode 2 it's complex mode mode 2 alright and let's enter in what we have written over here okay so enter in your fraction key so that we can enter in this rational expression and we'll say the opposite of parentheses negative 5 close parentheses plus square root sign 
and then we enter in our negative 5 squared minus 4 parentheses 3 parentheses 4 move out of the radical drop down to the denominator and 2 times 3 it equals and we see the Casio gives us 5 6 plus the square root of 23 over 6 I which is one of the solutions we have down here So just remember to enter in your plus or minus symbol so that you'll get both solutions alright so to get back to a normal screen remember select mode 1